Okay, as of January 16th, there's a tracker that works pretty well. And we want to download the software. And so we go to the website. And I have a Windows, so I'm going to download Windows 64. Yeah. Okay, we execute it. And we allow it to run. <clears throat> Accept the agreement, click through the installation. It doesn't take long. And we're ready to go. We'll do this. So the first thing we want to do is import our video. And I have it in this file. So I want to begin tracking. I click on track and hit new and I take a point mass and I want to, I'm going to track on this white part of its black eye and I do that by hitting a control shift and we see this little circle pop up and I click on that and now you can see it recognizes that as where it wants to track. And now I can do a search and it should follow the jump. There it goes. It's tracking very nicely and it stops because it's not sure what to do. This is a template and this is a match and I accept that. And I can keep accepting it because it looks like a reasonably good match. It's a little spread out because it's moving now. So it's smeared. And now I can close because we're done. And now what we see is it moves in the X direction and it moves in the Y direction. But I really just want to know this direction here that is jumping in. So I want to shift the axis. So this is the X axis and there's no motion in the Y direction. So I click on this axis button and I grab this little hash mark here. And now I can rotate. And what we see over here on the right, if you look at the X and Y axis, I can shift this so there's almost no motion in the Y direction. So you can see now uh, the Y direction is not really moving at all. And then I just have to figure out what the scale is, right? Because we have meters here. And so we know it's just a little guy here. We can see this is his leg. And so I'm going to, I'm going to put in a calibration stick. So here's my calibration stick and I'll make it his leg or her leg. And I believe they said in the video, this was 15 millimeters. So that would be 0 0.015 meters. Unfortunately, this didn't change our size on our data here. So I collect the data again and now we see we have the right values. Now that I like my data, I can copy it onto a spreadsheet such as Excel or Google Docs or whatever you choose. And I'm just going to take time and X because that's this component here. So I paste it into my new workbook and I can graph it by taking these two columns and inserting a chart, a scatter chart. Now the first thing we notice is that nothing interesting happens until about 1.2 seconds. So I'm going to get rid of anything before that by inserting a new column here and calling it time and setting this equal to this value minus 1.2. And then I double click on the lower right and it copies all them down. And I can delete this. And then I delete the rows before zero to get rid of the data points I don't want. And now I can select these two columns and insert a new scatter, uh, a new scatter plot. So we have a very nice position in meters versus time in seconds.
Oh wait, the time is all off. This is not one second. This is way faster than a second. Where did I go wrong? So what we see is, I believe this was set up for, yeah, a 30th of a second, 30 frames per second. But this is 2,400 frames per second. And I know there's a way to fix this inside of Tracker, but I don't care. I'm just gonna go to Excel directly, and I'm gonna set this time equal to zero, and this time equal to zero, plus one divided by 2,400. And so I just added one twenty-four hundredth of a second, and now I double click on it, and I have my time in seconds, and I like it. Now I'm able to also calculate the velocity, because the velocity is a rate of change of the, of the position. So I'm going to set this equal to zero for the first one, but for this one, we take the difference in position and divide it by the amount of time that's gone by. So this is equal to the difference in position divided by the difference in time that goes by, which will be 1 2400th of a second for all of these, but that's okay. Now I double click on it, and now I can graph the velocity versus time. Now we'll have to see what happens with this guy in the middle. Insert chart. This is the velocity, five meters per second. So 10 miles an hour uh, is about the velocity of, of a grasshopper. And I wanna get rid of this data point. Can I select data and I can get rid of this? Yes. Okay, and now I have my speed versus time. And you can find acceleration versus time, but you're gonna find it's very bumpy. So what I would do is I would just lay down a couple lines and find the slope of those lines because acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Hope that worked for you.